Hey everybody, it's Aaron Kaznitz here, your Baltimore Ravens beat reporter for the Harrisburg Patriot News and PennLive.com. Uh, so we're, we're back to talk a little bit about some of the aftermath of the draft. The one thing I want to touch on today in our Ravens analysis video is J.K. Dobbins, the Ohio State running back who the Ra- whom the Ravens drafted uh, in the second round, 55th overall pick. It's the big question everybody wants to know, is that worthwhile? Uh, a lot of teams kind of think it's maybe not the smartest to draft a running back in the first, second, third round in the draft because there's options later in the draft. And the Ravens are a great scenario here. Remember a couple years ago, uh, two years ago, Lamar Jackson's rookie year, the Ravens made the playoffs with Gus Edwards averaging nearly 100 yards per carry over the final six weeks of the season. Uh, Edwards was an undrafted rookie at the time. So I think a lot of the thought process of why Dobbins is a risky pick, or maybe not, not the wisest pick, is because you spent a second round draft pick on a guy who maybe you could have gotten similar value at later rounds or uh, as an undrafted free agent. But the big thing is the Ravens, well, there's two big things. One, the Ravens have had a lot of success in recent years thinking outside the box, finding value where other folks aren't looking. And two, if Dobbins is a game-breaking player, he's going to be worthwhile, right? The Ravens broke the NFL single-season rushing record last year. They became the first team ever to average 200 yards passing, 200 yards rushing. You add a dynamic running back to that mix, a guy who maybe is better than the options they have in-house, which includes Edwards, which includes Pro Bowler Mark Ingram. All of a sudden, you've got a guy who who you picked up in the second round, but if he's a 1,000 yards rushing, 400 yards receiving kind of guy, the threat that maybe Alvin Kamara was in New Orleans who played with Mark Ingram, all of a sudden you've got a dynamic weapon to that offense that the Ravens did not have last year. The other factor, if, if you're pro Dobbins, that you might point to is last season the Ravens struggled when Mark Ingram uh, suffered an ankle sprain. He missed the final game of the season. That didn't matter because the Ravens already had a playoff spot clenched up. But then he was a little limited, it seemed like, in that playoff loss to the Titans and Edwards and rookie Just, Justice Hill you know, don't quite offer the same explosiveness, the, the same versatility as Ingram, and the Ravens struggled. So now I think the thought is if you keep Ingram, you have Dobbins as a rookie, you got two guys who are explosive and versatile, you got some depth there, and you can still figure out what to do with Edwards and Hill. Uh, but the big thing for me is what it's going to come down to is Dobbins – for this pick to be worthwhile, considering as a running back taking the second round, Dobbins has to be a star, and the Ravens know that. And I think the Ravens wouldn't have wouldn't have drafted him if they didn't think he had Pro Bowl caliber potential. Uh, Dobbins certainly seems to, you know, his college production shows that he can be a very good running back in the NFL. He had over 2,000 yards, 21 touchdowns uh, in his final year at Ohio State. He was one. Of, he was the second Buckeyes running back ever to start as a true freshman. Uh, even as he Elliott didn't do that. So there are a lot of factors that say, hey, maybe this guy J.K. Dobbins is a star, and maybe the Ravens thought we can only get him in the second round because other teams are saying we don't want a running back here. We want to push. We want to wait to find a running back. So maybe this is an example of the Ravens trying to find value where other teams are not looking. But we'll see. I think Dobbins is, is an addition to the offense that you know gives them a new dynamic. But... If he's if he's only a decent player, if he's you know only a borderline average starter, uh, a lot of folks are going to be saying, "Man, you really could use that second round pick in a better way." But he's got star potential, and in a couple of years, we'll we'll figure out if the Ravens were wise in going running back at number fifty five overall.